I'm going to show you how I've been making my thrums for my thrummed mittens. I'm a complete newbie at this. I've never done this before, but I'll just show you what has been working for me. This is my unspun wool roving. So as you can see, it looks very different than regular yarn, which is plied and spun and won't break easily. So they recommend that you don't just take a pair of scissors and snip the wool. You're gonna gently tear it apart. Now this wool is left over from a blanket that I made back in 2016. I did one of those extreme knitted blankets. Okay, so let's work with this. So this was the leftover wool. So what you're gonna gently do is gently tug at the wool to kind of make it thinner because you don't want to work with it when it's this thick. You want to make the wool as thin as the yarn that you're using to knit the mittens. So I'm just gonna pull off a chunk. Maybe I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And everyone recommended to make all your thrums ahead of time so they're around the same size. Because if you make it whenever you need it, you might be inconsistent. So I'm just kind of going like this and thinning out anywhere I think needs to be thinned out. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna overlap it like this and pinch it in the center. So the wool has scales and what you're gonna do is you're trying to agitate, agitate those scales. So I'm agitating it with like rubbing it and also the moisture from my hand which is gonna cause this middle part to felt kind of. So you have a loop on this side, a loop on this side. That's not very pronounced, but I didn't do an extremely good job with this one, but that's okay. So we're trying to make this thickness similar to the yarn that you're using. So if you're doing a worsted weight yarn or a bulky yarn, mine is bulky, so I'd say this is okay. So you keep doing this and then you add it to your pile of thrums. Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I knit my thrums into my mitten. As you can see, I've made all of these thrums. This is unspun wool roving. And these are my thrummed mittens. All these little white puffy hearts are the thrums. And as you can see inside, they form all these beautiful loops. It's so warm and cozy in there. So I'm gonna show you how I knit the thrum into my mitten. So you can see that I need to put a thrum here because it lines up. So you're gonna insert your needle just as if you were to knit, but instead of just yarning over, you're gonna add your thrum. So this is what my thrum looks like. This is the pinched part. I'm going to wrap the pinched part around the needle like this. And I noticed that I need to make this a little bit smaller and this one a little bit longer. And it'll even out later on, you'll see. So as I wrap this around, I'm gonna use my working yarn yarn over and then I'm going to knit this stitch like this and pull off. So these two have been worked together. You can see it evens out. Let's see that again. So next I'm just gonna knit three normally. One, two, three, and you can see it's time for another thrum stitch. So let's see that again. I'm gonna insert, wrap the thrum around like this yarn over and then pull through. So I'm gonna keep repeating this pattern for this thrum round and then I'll show you how we're going to lock the thrum into place in the next round. Now I finished up the thrum round. You can see all these thrums are in here. They look so cute and puffy. So I'm gonna show you how you lock them into place. So this is just a regular stitch here. Now we are approaching a thrum stitch. So here, you're actually gonna knit this stitch in the back loop only. So I insert here, make sure you're getting the white part and the little pink stitch behind. 
yarn over and knit. And then you can see it's now locked into place. It looks so cute. So then these are just regular stitches. One, two, three. Okay, here is another thrum stitch. We're gonna go through that back loop, yarn over, and now it's been locked into place. So you keep going around and that's all there is to it. That's how you knit the thrums into your mitten and then lock them into place.